Now let's go to our Chris Habermel. Chris, you are a fighter fighter as well. So talk to us about the challenges of fighting a fire like this one. Well, basically, Erica, right now we've got a building that is massive. It's 25 stories tall, 299 units, and you have a wind-driven fire in a fully consumed, fully flashed over compartment. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. On the outside of this building, you can see that that had uh, flashed over there. So your first priority is life safety, then incident stabilization, and then you can talk about saving the property. Right now, you've got a whole bunch of moving parts in here, and it starts with training, training, and more training. And fire behavior, building construction, high-rise operations, you name it. All those parts and pieces were coming into play today. And putting out the fire basically eliminates 90% of the problem. So that's what you want to do. Your attack companies are going to identify where that fire is at, report the conditions, get up to the fire floor. Your lobby control, take over the alarm panel, the communication system, get word out to the residents to stay put. They're going to take over and shut down the ventilation system. They'll call back the elevators. In this case, the elevators were challenging because uh, a lot of them were not working. And you had wind blowing that fire, lapping from floor to floor up the outside of the building. The interior companies got in, did their job, did it well, and it could have been a whole lot worse despite the tragedy and the trauma. Chris hey. Havermill, CBS 2 News. Chris, one more quick question. Uh, we heard one of the residents there ask how this fire spread so quickly and so far if there were sprinklers there and there were firewalls. Well, the misconception about sprinklers is that sprinklers put out a fire. If you have a well-seated fire, a sprinkler will kind of hold it in check along with the construction of the building. This is a fire-resistive building, basically uh, concrete boxes within a large box, which held in the heat, a door closed, kept it from getting out into the hallway, and it spread vertically and so fast because of the wind conditions today. All right, Chris Habermill, thank you very much for that insight.